Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. Today, we are checking out a brand new character, at least for me he's a brand new character. He's been available to purchase since launch, but I haven't had the really chance to because I was sort of misunderstood about this. You can see there's always these three characters hanging out, Hunter Marcy, Tuxedo Jake, and Dungeon Finn. It always gives you the option to get them. I had figured that there were ways to buy them, but also ways to unlock them. Some of you let me know there's actually no way to unlock them, and from what I've seen there isn't because I can go to this one area and here's you can see like this is a uh, dungeon fin and it's not really a way to unlock him but I need dungeon fin to unlock this area so I've been looking around and around and I find no proper way to actually unlock these characters I think the only way you can get them is through purchasing purchasing them with real life money so like obviously if that wasn't the case I would just unlock it normally but since I don't see any way whatsoever you know you can see some other monkeys here that you can unlock just by playing the game I don't see that option for anybody else, you know? Like, I have been looking around, looking at each area, trying to find if that's actually true or not, to make extra sure. And it really doesn't seem like it, so I think that that means that we're just gonna go ahead and showcase one of those purchasable characters, starting with that version of Finn. Sort of see, check it out, because every time we get into tower, we get a little bit more powerful. So, looks like we're gonna be getting Dungeon Finn here. And with Dungeon Finn, his description is, sporting all the coolest loot from the dungeon train, Finn has a whole bunch of new ways to take down balloons. His pros are high damage, his cons are short range. You need Finn Cakes to level him up, of course, and he has abilities like this, activate a continuous stream of concentrated flame, and then also activate a massive burst of damaging fire, which is pretty cool. And then we, we can only unlock by purchasing Dungeon Finn, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I think, yeah, this is where we can see his little pack, which is cool, and you can see they're all like $10 each, so it'll be fun to check this out. I don't know if I should just do the character bundle. You know what? It does save me like $5, so I'm pr I plan on buying all these characters anyways. We'll probably get the character bundle one, and as you can see, it includes Dungeon Finn, sporting all the coolest loot from the dungeon like we just read. Tuxedo Jake, Jake is, our, is ready to put his musical talent to the good use and inspire his friends to greater heights. Hopefully, Lady will be impressed. And then Hunter Marceline, years ago, Marceline skills as a hunter spelt disaster for the vampires. Now she's ready to turn those talents into eradicating the balloon menace. So we'll be unlocking all three of these today in the character bundle one but I will only be showcasing Dungeon Finn in today's episode. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And they also include weapons, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we'll check all this out and see what ends up happening. Okay, so there we go. We unlocked Hunter Marceline. Oh, Marceline. <laughs> Weapon type is darts. Oh cool, she throws darts, I like that. Um, And her abilities are suck the souls from all balloons on the screen. Wow, that's crazy. Um, She has fast attack speed, flying, but she's also expensive. <laughs> Tuxedo Jake is interesting. As you can see, he has a weapon type instrument, just like normal Jake, and his abilities are attack the balloons with the power of rock. And his pros are to boost all nearby characters, but he does not attack. He is purely just a support character. Very interesting. And then finally, we have Dungeon Finn. He has a sword, and we already read his abilities, high damage, short range, so very, very cool. We're gonna be checking out uh, the Dungeon Finn in today's episode, and that's all the purchasable characters. And from how it words it, it makes me think, um, that maybe soon we'll get new characters. How I was a bundle one. Tip, adventure party. It looks like your adventure party is full. You must remove a character before adding a new one to your party. Select the character you wish to remove, then hit the add to party toggle. A new character can then be added using the same toggle button. See, so yeah, we actually have too many heroes to go into something with, so I'll have to keep that in mind. But we do have some swords available. Ooh, and his sword as well. Let's take a look at his sword. This is the Thunder Sword, epic loot. With this sword, you can take on an infinite number of enemies. Um, it gives plus 15% speed, plus 1% per star, and then plus two damage, plus one per four stars. Uh, the special properties are Pops Lead. Every fifth attack fires forked lightning. Wow, I want that. So equip that on him, it's a legendary sword, you can tell by that golden yellow rim around the weapon. And then we do have some stuff for him, like we have the, the gauntlet, and then we also have the sweater that'll make him invulnerable to negative attacks. We don't have too much more for him there. Um, when it comes to allies, he doesn't have anything right now. There is the King of Ooh that we could get at some point for all of our gems. I don't think that's something that he can equip, but that might be, oh no, yeah, right down here. So maybe that's something we can get at some point. The Charismatic King is something something. Maybe we'll check that out soon. I don't really know. But for now, I guess there's not too much more we can do for him. I'm very tempted to give him some level ups, but for right now, let's just take a look at some of his skill tree. As you can see, here's Dungeon Finn. We have Shield Bash. Uh, Finn smashes the balloons with his shield. He has uh, 
shield throw. Finn throws his shield like a boomerang, damaging balloons it hits. We has Battle Moon for $600, a floating orb that orbits Finn and attacks balloons independently. We also have the Fire Crown, uh, unleashes a blast from a flame around the Fire Crown, or from the Fire Crown, and then Flame Slap, smash the balloons with an extra fire attack. We have Skilled Swordsmanship, increase the range of Finn's attacks, that sounds nice. Um, Savage Strength, increases the pierce of Finn's attacks. Adrenaline Boost, increases Finn's attack speed. And then for level three, we have True Warrior, increase the damage of Finn's attacks, very cool. Over here, this is a level five upgrade. It's the one-two combo. The Battle Moon fires at the Throne Shield for a Ricochet attack. That sounds a little crazy. Is that, that doesn't, that's not an activatable ability. But the two activated abilities, activatable abilities are here. Activate a continuous stream of Concentrated Flame. That's 4,500, and then this one's 4,000. You need to be level seven for it. But what, yeah, this one says it's unlocked by Inferno. What is Inferno? Is this Inferno? This is Inferno. So we really can't get either of these until level seven, so that's like a, way, a long ways off, but uh, ability activate a massive burst of damaging fire. So we plan on re-showcasing characters anyways once we get them high enough level to actually do all of their abilities. But for now, you know, just taking a quick look at him, he seems very cool, but the best way to do that is to bring him into action. So we're gonna take a look at our party on the top right. Um. I don't know how to remove somebody. Oh, there we go. This is how we alter our party. So for right now, I think I will remove Warrior PB and just throw in um, Dungeon Finn. That should be pretty good. And we'll move on with that. So what levels did we want to tackle? I'm a little bit in on the fence about. Like maybe we could check out this level um, if it would let me. Okay, so we got the Cyclops Grassland. We've already defeated this on easy. Maybe we could go back and defeat on hard, but I mean, at the same time, we did unlock this for doing Dungeon Fin, or for getting Dungeon Fin, it's the Dungeon Train. The Dungeon Train is, our, is ready for boarding, but this time, it's carrying a new foe. So let's try this out. This is what we unlocked for unlocking Dungeon Fin. Let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know if there's any kind of story. There might be. That'd be cool. These balloons are a huge pain in our bee hunkies. Bee hunkies, I really like that. I hears ya. Uh, wish orbs are great, but we need some heavy duty stuff to stop them. Jake, I know a one stop shop where we can get all the loot we need. I don't know. Sounds expensive, dude. Don't worry. This place only has one currency pain. Oh my. Where? Where? Dungeon Train! Aw, oh, Finn, not that place again, man. There must be. Choo choo, epic loot! Huh? <laughs> Come on, Finn, stop messing around. We can get the loot somewhere else. All aboard! Finn! Come back here! All right, so it looks like we're gonna get some epic loot in the dungeon train. This might be one long episode if we have four levels to get through. It looks like any level of difficulty we do unlock a new character for too, which is super exciting. So yeah, let's move forward. We got the dungeon train to skull difficulty for this one. Man, oh man, I'm excited. So uh, I do want to check out, what, what does Jake have? Um, oh yeah, does he have a new musical instrument because we unlocked the other, okay. Uh, we'll check those characters out later, but I mean, it does say there's two new things for, I mean, I guess he could get two more level ups. I mean, it might be worth it. I mean, he he could benefit from getting a level three, right? He gets, I mean, he only gets, uh, increases the damage of Finn's attacks. That would be good though. I am so on the fence about it. Like, what about Finn? How cl he's just like, he's so close to getting level four, but does he get anything for getting level four? Not really. He needs to get all the way to level five for something anyway. So maybe it'd just be better to make Dungeon Finn a little bit stronger for the sake of the showcase. So we'll go for it. We'll get these two level ups, level up and level up. Okay, there's the first level up. And as you can see, he, he struts, he's happy about it. It gets one, one trinket slot unlocked, which is pretty good, if, if, except for the fact that we don't have any more trinkets for him. But hopefully that'll change once we get some of these levels done. We get in the level three, gets plus one allies. And same thing, he doesn't have any allies. So we need to definitely get more stuff for him. But for now, hopefully this will work out. We'll just do normal difficulty uh, and see what ends up happening. Hopefully everything turns out quite well. Whoa. Tip, flying characters. You have your first flying character, rather than staying in one place, these characters will move around the map attacking balloons. You can alter the flight paths of these characters using the target options. Interesting, so we'll keep that in mind at some point. I do wanna unlock Marceline sooner or later. 
but it seems like they all come in from the top and all make their way down to the bottom eventually. So where is, this is uh, the dungeon fin. The only problem is that he's, uh, the, the range isn't perfect from here and he's a little bit more expensive than we're used to with 550. Okay, so some trains come in. They ooze out the balloons, and we're just gonna focus on him. Like, he has an incredible amount of stuff on him. He looks ridiculous. Okay, so let's do skilled swordsmanship, and we're just gonna upgrade him as much as possible. But yeah, so far, I'll try out uh, Dungeon Fin and see how things are going, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have Dungeon Fin or not? What are your thoughts on do you think he's good, bad, somewhere in the middle? I would love, love, love to hear. But yeah, it should be cool. Oh, I didn't know I had these two in my party. Okay, I'm not gonna use them, but good to know they're there. All right, we have like a, like a huge list of stuff going on now. Okay, so I'll start up in our next round, and we're just gonna keep on earning stuff up. It's pretty affordable, too. I'm really happy, because even if we don't want to use Dungeon Fin, we can use that sword with Normal Fin, and that'd be plenty effective as well. So I will keep that in mind, because that could be really crazy. For now, though, uh, get the 180, pretty good. And then the Shield Bash, we're just gonna make him as powerful as possible. And then maybe we'll get Bimo or something. Because right now, we know what most of this stuff does. It just makes Finn stronger. And it's just a bunch of reds anyways. Like, we could probably leave it like this for a while. Just get BMO and work from there. If that might actually be more, th more worthwhile. We'll have to wait and see. But we seem to be destroying lots of balloons. And that lightning attack going off every once in a while, doing some extra damage. I see it. That's 282 already. Yeah, we're making some major progress. This is a lot of fun. This map is very interesting as well. But yeah, we do now have flying units with Marceline, or at least Hunter Marceline. She is, uh, I guess, like a helicopter in normal BDD games, so that's pretty interesting. So we're earning up some money, but not quite enough until now. So I'm just gonna put BMO right down this way. Hi, BMO. And we'll earn up $300, because at this point, it's looking like nothing's getting past Dungeon Finn here, and I like it. So this obviously is just gonna keep us even stronger, keep us even more well protected against things, and that's awesome. So I'm really happy about that. Already got more money. This is happening pretty fast. I mean, obviously we don't have bro fist or anything, but it's still just normal difficulty. So we don't quite need, okay, yellow balloon finally got past us there. A little bit scary, but it's fine, it's fine. So we're probably not even gonna go for bro fist. We're just gonna get that 500 hour reward and Maybe try something else. We didn't get any kind of, uh, you know, ally for unlocking that bundle, unfortunately, but that's fine. So I think at this point, maybe we could do some protection with like Max or something. Only problem is it's hard to figure out where to put a character like this. I don't know if I, it is a tough map in some ways, for sure. It's weird that this was only two skulls. I feel like it is a little bit higher than that in reality. We'll try this out. He'll be able to clean up the back end here. We'll do long range. He'll be able to cover a lot of range with this, so that'll be good. And in the last episode, we checked out the Max Adventure Pack. That was a pretty nice bundle. Yep, okay, well, we still can't do that all that well. Um, but it's fine. We take some damage, it's not the end of the world. As long as BMO's continually earning us more money, we should be fine. I definitely wanna get them more darts while we can. It's a lot of fun so far, though. I like him. I think him getting the weapon as well made him really, really worth it. Feels great, apparently. That's good to know. So I want him to have the triple darts as well. Oh, does he have that now? Yeah, I guess so. I totally forgot, we finally got that upgrade. That's awesome, I'm so happy about that. So we finally have the triple darts for Max, and I think it's actually gonna make him a lot more of a valuable character. So I like seeing that. Um, for now, let's do Shield Bash, because we haven't done that yet, and I think that's actually gonna add a lot. It seems so far it will. Oh, look at you with your triple darts. That is amazing. So um, we'll do Fire Crown. We're just gonna, like, he just has so many upgrades. It's crazy. I mean, some of this stuff still is having a hard time getting away, but that's where just Max comes in and finishes it off. I think he'll actually be able to handle all the yellow balloons now that when they rush in round 30. So nice. This is actually a plenty fine combo. Gotta pay attention to BMO, though. We're taking some damage, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Let's do the shield throw. And we all already have the flame going on and everything. If not anything else, he earned some major points just for being a cool character. Another hundred dollars from BMO. I would hope that uh, eventually we can make it so he can survive a bit more stuff. Because right now, we are taking some damage still. And that's unfortunate. I wish Max was a more viable character. It feels like, I don't know, he's very situational. It's hard to make him work out all that well. So we got that rotating moon around us now. Wow, lots of weird sound effects with that one. 
but it's really doing some work. I think it's at a great spot as a tower. I mean, obviously this is sort of like a weird map. I feel like there are definitely better places for them that we just couldn't really utilize with this map specifically. So I think what would be good for something like this, maybe we could get Peppermint Butler out this way. I wish I could squeeze him in over here, but I can't really. Um, that's probably not the best, but we'll try that. And see what it ends up really getting us. Right now it's right of might, then right of flight. <laughs> Lots of stuff we can get him. Okay, there's that. What is it, 600 something dollars? So here come those camos. I'm not stressed about the blue ones at all. Normal, normal Max can get those no problem. So I know that's not gonna be a problem for him. So we could try to save up the 1600 though for the flame slap. I guess we can, just to sort of out of curiosity, let's get that out of the way now. Like obviously we're gonna survive this round, we have 181 health. That's the fun thing about normal mode at this point, it is very survivable. Wow, those balloons aren't getting anywhere. They are not getting anywhere. It's insane. So this one we don't even need much money, just through like pure brute strength. Uh, Dungeon Finn can survive the most of it himself. And then we got Focus Fire, which would be great. That's the ability we unlocked, but there's no way we're gonna be able to save that up in time. I mean, maybe if we saved up like a bunch, and like right before the last round we sold everybody else, that might actually send us to our doom now. Like right now, we'll just save up. Concentrated Flame, I would love to see that, but I don't think we're gonna earn up enough money. Like I could sell BMO, I could sell you, and that'd only get me to 2,600. I could sell you for another, that'd be 3,800. That still wouldn't even be enough, so we'll leave it like this. Let's see how you can handle all this. Okay, you were not able to handle that very well at all. I'm sort of disappointed, to say the least. Wow, dude. Okay, so I don't have to worry about camos anymore if I did want to sell you and see what we could end up getting. Yeah, sure, why not? 4,500, come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can, we can do it, we can do it. No, oh, but it's over. Darn it, there's no way we're gonna be able to do that in normal mode. I mean, maybe, but probably not. <laughs> Okay, so we get 22 coins for that. We get an anchor, something. We get a wish orb. We get 80 experience. Not bad, not bad at all. So we'll definitely take all of that and I will see what's inside that wish orb. Hopefully some good stuff. We'll have to wait and see. Open that up. Open up that common wish orb. Anything new. Nothing really technically new, but we'll take the ninja headband because we don't haven't gotten one yet. We've seen it plenty of times. We just decided not to get it but I'll decide to get it this time. Head home, keep battling through this. We got three more maps to go, so you better bet I'm not done yet. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get through all of this, that's for sure. And it says we have a lot of upgrades for people. I mean, it's only because I think that one trinket is like available for a lot of people. But all it does, if I remember correctly, is that cooldowns reduced by 5%, which really isn't all that useful in normal difficulty. It's very hard to even get to that point. Um, and beyond that, I mean, obviously we have some level ups for you, right? No, no, that's not what I'm even talking about. Okay, interesting. So we'll check all that stuff out in the upcoming episode, so never mind that for now. We are gonna move on to train armory, normal difficulty, three skull level. We haven't done anything higher than the three skull level, which we'll be dealing with later in today's episode, so that'll be a bit scary. But this one's actually really good for, uh, for uh, Warrior Finn because it does have two points of entry, but they're all right next to each other, so if we put him right here, I would really hope that would reach both of them. If not, I'm gonna be a bit concerned. Okay, he does. Uh, if we could keep working on him, though, until he has better range, that'd be fantastic as well, but I guess it might not be exactly necessary. I think he can handle it, but that's why he's really great here. I guess I should have moved him a little to the right. That might have been even smarter. But hey, this will work for now. It is still normal difficulty, so I don't have to worry about, like, every decision being absolutely perfect. But I think I will rush BMO this time and see how much money we can really make with that. And then I don't have to worry about um, max until level 25 if I want to do that kind of camo site. I don't know if I do that. You know, so it might be something a little bit different. So for right now, just keep on earning up that money until we're at 700, get the BMO, and work from there. Uh, we're at 660, 670. Come on, come on. And got it, perfect. Wonderful job, wonderful job. So with all of that, I'm going to uh, earn up some money as much as I can. $300 really won't be that challenging with this. I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a slower BMO because of the fact that uh, the, this fin is a bit more expensive, but I think it's worth our while because it, it keeps us protected for much longer. And that's good. 
So yeah, I love being able to get more powerful towers. It does make these levels a lot easier. At this point, it feels like it doesn't even matter what map we play. If it's on normal mode, we should be able to survive to some capacity. It used to not be that way. It's like normal mode would still kick our butts, but we've gotten better and better towers and that really does make a huge difference. So with all that, we can upgrade Finn a bit more. Yeah, his range is way better now. That's great. Get more money from that. Get savage strength, get adrenaline boost. So you should be attacking faster now. Probably wanna get shield bash as soon as we can, because that's really not that bad to have. Got it. And having that early BMO was fantastic. I appreciate it, that's for sure. Okay. 300 for the two warrior, because that increases the damage. Just one balloon got by. Okay, a couple of them are getting by now. That's sort of a shame. It happens though, at the least it'll help BMO earn up more cash, which honestly is more than if we just had popped those balloons, so. Honestly, it's not always bad. So we'll get that extra damage. I think right now the problem is just his attack speed not being enough. So we could do something about that. I feel like the shield actually slows down his attack speed a little bit. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I mean, we can't get the battle moon without the shield or the fire crest. There's like a lot. I feel like I just need to wait. Like before we get the crown upgrade, I need to get other towers. I feel like that's sort of the big thing. But what I could do in the meantime is I could put Finn here and then save up for Jake and put him on the other side. Which is right now. There we go. <laughs> Look at that combo. There's two Finns just hanging out next to each other. Isn't that weird? But at this point, money shouldn't be that big of an issue. I can just keep on earning more up from BMO, get the gloves, and then Brofist. Brofist will be pretty speedy, and it's not really that far, not that much late. We're in round 15. I mean, we'll need to wait a couple rounds, so I guess it is still pretty late. But comparatively, we're way more survivable. Not much is gonna get past us with this, so we're fine for a good while. And we're almost already halfway there. $700 is the halfway point, and we got it, so it's fine. I mean, we're more than halfway done this whole setup, so it's, it only goes to do so much. But I mean, obviously, if we applied this to a different thing, it would, it would work out pretty well as well, you know? If we applied this to a, you know, more difficult, like harder difficulty thing. Because they always start the same. Round one through 30 on normal difficulty is round one through 30 on hard difficulty. It's just everything after that, that's the problem, you know? So we have Brofist now. So we could either turn around and focus on uh, Dungeon Fin. I think that's exactly what we'll do. I want to be able to get Flame Slap and then get Focused Fire. So I guess that wasn't true. I thought this said that it required this, but that's not true at all. It did say it required Inferno, but it doesn't require Inferno, that's weird. I don't know why that wasn't true. Maybe it was just a typo, or they put it on the wrong thing or something. Uh, we'll get the Fire Crown, Flame Slap will be a little bit expensive, but it'll be totally worth it. We'll get Shield Throw. Even though I'm pretty sure the Shield stuff definitely slows him down significantly. He was like doing fine. Then we get the Shield upgrade and he starts missing balloons, but I also noticed he was taking time to swing his shield, which was plenty of time for the balloons to escape. So I think that early game, do not get the shield upgrade, because I think that actually does hinder us more than it helps us. So yeah, this is like a new and improved fin, <laughs> in one way or another. So we're around 20, 24 out of 30. I do have to worry, this will be a camo round. I mean, I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest with you. Uh, but we will, I don't know, it might just be easy to get PB and get her to deal with it. I mean, who else has camo vision? There has to be somebody, right? I'm pretty sure there is. But honestly, if the camos, only the camos get by, it's very survivable in normal difficulty. It's not a big deal. Okay, so 4,500 for the focus fire. Will we be able to do that this time? Hard to say, but I would really, really like to be able to. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna sell everybody but Finn in the last round or the, you know, the Finn and see if that works. Hopefully this time it will. We're around 28 out of 30. We're at $2,000 already. And we have another round to survive after this. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to do this because I can sell Bima, that'll be another $1,000. So if, as long as we can get to 3,000 and then get your four or your $12, sell this, we're at 4,179. Sell Jake would not be enough. So let's just sell Finn. I'm so sorry, Finn, but boom. I just really want to see this ability. So now we have this. Um, don't want to activate it right now because it's just the uh, camos that we can't hit anyways. And that shouldn't take us out, we're at full health. And then these other balloons are gonna start coming in. And then we're just gonna speed it up and do this. Whoa, he actually does get rid of the camos a little bit. That was weird. He started focusing it down, there we go. You didn't really get to see what it did too much. It was sort of weird, but hey, there we go. Very cool, 50 coins, one gem. 
A sushi? Who do, who takes the sushi? I don't know. Um, but there's all that stuff. I'll take it. Another wish orb is great. And hopefully, uh, we'll see some other stuff. So there is level 13, $710 is our starting cash now, which is fantastic. Um, hmm. Oh, hey, look, yeah, this is some new stuff. Businessmen, he's a new ally. The businessmen are here to take your balloon popping more efficient, or make your balloon popping more efficient with the help of their trusty axes. I'm gonna take that. $380. Sure, I mean, I don't know who can use him, but he seems interesting enough. So that is very cool, discard these two. And let's continue to the next level, which is going to be this one. This is another three skull one. A little bit scary because of that, but we now have somebody who can take the Axemen, right? I think, uh, can you do it? I think so. Allies, yeah, look at you. So I do wanna check out more of his stats. His pros are good attack speed, his cons are short range, which actually isn't too bad, Three eight, $380. Damage type is sharp, one damage, 1.25 attack speed. We'll try it. Might be good. Um, Beyond that, I think we're all good. It's the Crystal Ants. Let's try it out. If you change your mind about where you wanna place a character, you can sell them from the upgrade menu. I know about that, but I'll keep it in mind. Okay, so this level seems to be pretty similar, but what's nice about this one is it's one continuous track, which I feel like makes it much easier to figure out. Um, But there's, oh, it's these guys we have to be worried about. They do something. Up there, they definitely do all these like weird gem monsters. But hey, that's why Finn here has his sweater so that he doesn't get negatively affected by it. So that would be pretty cool. Oh, they go under it though. So definitely getting him set up here is probably my best bet. All fired up. All fired up indeed. So let's see if he gets affected by any of that. And if he doesn't, that's good. That means we could also try this for some of the other harder difficulty stuff. Maybe we could finally complete wizard battle and unlock that stuff. That'd be cool. Uh, But for now, I'm just doing this, seems fine to me. So I'm not gonna upgrade any of that. We're just gonna leave it how it is and rush BMO, and I think it'll be fine. Once again, as long as we don't do the shield upgrade until we get another character, like maybe we'll get Finn in there, I think that'll be fine, that'll be great. Okay, so yeah, lots of options. We're almost at 700 already. If we can get to 600 by the end of this round, that'd be awesome, because that means that, uh, nah, not quite. We could just jump the extra 100 for completing the round and get the BMO. Oh well. Come on, 670, 680 almost. Yep, there it is. 10 more, 10 more. There it is, BMO. Make money as soon as you can. Thank you. So these guys aren't doing anything to this Finn so far. I don't know if it's because of his sweater or if maybe these guys don't actually do anything. It'd be weird if they just chill out there and they don't do anything though, you know? So we'll have to wait and see. For now, I got some money. Almost got this BMO upgrade, there it is. So we just need $500, which should be pretty fine. Yeah, I, I like I like uh, Dungeon Finn, he's a good addition. I wonder if the other two characters we got will be just as good. I would like to check out Normal Marceline before we check out Hunter Marcy, but I might not have the chance to. I don't know, because I know we have to unlock a number of other characters before we even get to Hunter Marcy, so it gets, it gets complicated. But for right now, we're just gonna destroy as much as we possibly can. Get 183 more dollars, so we can upgrade this. Why haven't I been doing that? That's a waste of cash. So we'll do the skilled swordsmanship, avoid the shield bash this time, and see if anything gets past us by around like 12. I don't think it will. I think we'll be fine. I mean, obviously this one's a little bit easier because it loops around and then Finn will have a second chance, but I don't even think that's gonna happen. I don't think it's good. Okay, one yellow got by. So maybe it is a little bit of a weakness, but they haven't really upgraded them too much, so let's do that. There we go. So like with all of that, there's no way they're gonna get by. But if we upgrade to that shield bash, I guarantee you, because he definitely takes time to do the shield bash. And that's what sort of is the detriment. So I think we'll put Finn as close as we can to Dungeon Finn, just like that. Oh, they talk to each other. It's like, hey, Dungeon me, hey, regular me. Pretty cool. So we'll, we'll get Jake now, we'll put him on the other side of this, and that actually is Brofist ready. So that's very cool. That's sort of like a nice little cluster there. And there's a little ukulele over here just on the floor. Um, oh well, let's go ahead and get BMO. I know that some of these maps, as we learned last episode, or no, it was the episode before that, so some of them have secrets that you can get stuff from, so sometimes I just tap on things. Uh, doesn't seem to do much, I'm just accidentally tapping BMO over and over. So let's get the right in the gloves if we can Get it, and then maybe, I would love to get limber limbs, but I might wait. 
because if we can get that bro fist as soon as we can, that would also be awesome, and then at that point, it's done. We, we, we will be fine. I don't even think we need it all that much, but it's worth having, worth trying. So who do we want to try besides, I mean, I could try for Ice King to get some camos dealt with that way, maybe that'd be easier. You would think that I would have some allies that do deal with camo, and I feel like I don't, but maybe I do. But the Sniper Monkey definitely doesn't. While I would love for him to, he doesn't. You don't. Oh, wait, wait, you actually had right of sight, right? Further away, okay, that's his extra range then. Gunter cannot. I'm pretty sure none of these guys can. We'll try out our new ally, I guess, maybe after we get Brofest. But that would be pretty cool. Come on, get this, there we go. Oh, I was trying to get it before the round ended, that stinks. Oh well, it's fine. We'll try this guy out. He's a businessman, of course, one of like Marceline's dad's businessmen, maybe? Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe that's not what they're from. I, know, I remember the businessmen, but I don't remember really what they do. We'll see what you end up, you just slicing things down. Yeah, I think they were like businessmen that like, Finn and Jake had to find and help. They were like washed up from an icicle. It was weird. They're like sort of zombies, but sort of not. And they only have two upgrades, they're pretty simple. Okay, well, it's something. Hmm. See, I don't really know. We'll get Ice King, we'll put him over here just in case things get nasty, which they won't. But with that, we can at least, I just sort of wanna finally say, okay, I've dealt with camos, you know? Instead of just letting them pass me. So we get Crown Influence and then we just get Wizard Eyes. It's, it's pretty affordable to do, to be honest with you, so it's not really that big of a deal. So, Wizard Eyes, got it, so now we don't have to worry about it anymore. Any camos get by him. I mean, it could still be dealt with even more because he doesn't have like his global attack at the moment. I think that the yellows maybe would get by him in his current form, so if we did Ice Bolt and then we got Lightning, that's what we're really looking for, so we'll try that out. Well, only a couple. So like, yeah, these guys will go all the way around and then get destroyed by the Ice King, which is to be expected, you know, because, you know. But these guys, they just get instantly popped by the King of Ice himself, which is fantastic. So there's that done. We have $1,000, we need 1,100, and there it is. So there we go. We, we do not have to worry about those yellow balloons anymore, those yellow camos. We got everything else handled, so get $160 from BMO. 180 now, nice. Stacks up pretty quickly. So we can get the Shield Bash now, we can get the Fire Crown. We already got the CB ability, even though it wasn't too crazy to really see it. But I'm glad we were able to do something with it. And then we'll do Battleman. The Battleman actually seems to help a lot. Oh, a pink one got five, and then it just circles around again, so it's not that big of a deal. No gear. And then we'll get Limber Limbs for you so that you can attack on the approaching balloons on their first way through without it being too much of an issue. So we're making our way through everything quite easily. I like it. Okay, so keep moving. Okay, here's where all those camos come in. The camo's moving quite fast, but as soon as they actually get over to him, I think it'll be fine. Probably having focus on strong would be a good idea. Okay, yep, he just protected against those ones, and it's fine. We just won. Nice, no damage lost at all, I think, during that entire round. Very cool, so that's another level complete. Right. Another chest for us as well. These longer levels, of course, end up giving us more loot for it, I guess. 50 coins, a gem, a banana, and a green wish orb. That's not too bad out of a normal bronze chest, so gladly take that. Um, the banana is always nice to have as well, just any kind of character up or level up thing, always good to have. But as you can see, what is gonna be in this green orb? Hopefully something good, two greens and a gray. So we got acoustic guitar, and then that is, I wanna go back, so I was trying to press a little I. And then the powering of chill, which we already have one of. Balloons hit by this by attacks move 20% lower, solar for 10 seconds. This is a really good one though. And then there's also the acoustic guitars plus 5% range. I'm a little on the fence about it while it is new. I think I will just end up getting the powering of chill. I mean, I know I already have one of them, but I think having two of them would actually be particularly helpful here. I don't think I wanna give 50 whole gems for the acoustic guitar, I feel like that's a way too much for it. So we're just gonna go home, and we're gonna go for the next level, which is the infinity, which this one seems tough. As you can see, it is four skulls, and I don't know who we wanted to put the power ring of chill on. If we could put it on him, that would be good. So let's try that, it looks like we can. That would be really nice, and we can. So let's go ahead and equip that. And then also the uh, thing. Even, I mean, he's the closest one that'll have an activated ability, even though he probably won't end up having it. Might as well try. Okay, cool. So uh, with all of that, 
I think we are good to continue. Let's do the normal difficulty and see what ends up happening. So this is a little weird as you can see. And I actually think that this is one of the ones where we want to start with like a Finn Jake combo. Um, like put Finn as close as we can to the, the, the thing. Like that, and then put Jake as close as we can to the thing on the other side. I don't think we'll be able to do Brofist for it, but I think it'll be f fine. I think it'll be okay. Because we can do some other stuff instead. I might just avoid both BMO and Brofist in today's episode, or not today's episode, but this round. I mean, maybe if we did Limber Limbs, we could reach it, but I doubt it. But I think this is a lot more handleable. And at the least, they're both smashing on the balloons as they pop out of that portal. This is the highest difficulty uh, map we've ever done so far, so that's really exciting, and hopefully things will turn out well with it. So far, I'm having a good time. Hmm. Well, with this, I think that we can last for a little while, so we'll probably just try to get the 525 for the dungeon fin and see where we can fit him. Probably on the top. I just have a feeling that might be better than the bottom. I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, it's sort of this infinity thing. I don't know if they loop around more than once. I really don't think they do. With a high level difficulty map like this, I would not expect it. They're just gonna keep slicing and dicing, and they get rid of most of the balloons the moment they pop up, which is nice. So as close as we can, it looks like, wow, that's interesting. This combo still works for Finn and Jake, is the, uh, that combo that Jake has for it. So it doesn't really matter the version of Finn it is. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, Finn, Finn and Finn were talking again. Yeah, they definitely, and it sort of changes with each one. The only problem is that these ones aren't reaching this guy too much. Uh, Dungeon Finn. But that's fine, because I can actually increase his range at some point, right? Adrenaline boost, attack speed, uh, damage, pierce, increase his range. So we just increased his range, and he still can't reach it? I mean, he sort of, kind of can. We'll just have to put somebody on the bottom. I think that'll be a big thing as well. Let's just put somebody else on the bottom. If we could put PB on the bottom, she'll be able to increase the range of everybody as well. So maybe just save for now. Like save up our cash, get PB, get the regal presence so that everybody will have some increased range. Because two balloons get by there. It's not the end of the world. Especially with these ones are gonna be heading up instead of down, at least on the left. Which seems to be a bit more of a problem. The next time I might actually do like Dungeon Finn on the left and then Finn and Jake like, like Finn on the top and then Jake on the right. Something like that might be good. It'd be tough at first, but I, I, I'm noticing now that like it doesn't matter too much. You don't need one on both sides at the very beginning. So we are just gonna put PB, oh, we need to put PB somewhere good. And I guess here is fine, even though they're more popping up on the left, I think that'll change soon enough. Maybe give me a moment to figure it out. We gotta just get Regal Presence. She's gonna be slowing them down, which definitely helps. We need about 300 more dollars, we're halfway there. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, we gotta start the next round, there you go. So, so far it's not so bad. It's getting easier now that we got PB. Some are still getting by, but we're only down to 173. So we get Regal Presence, and that's gonna give him much more range, and he can reach us a lot easier because of that. It's still not perfect, but this is where we can do some other stuff that increase our chances. Rather faster, Sword Player, uh, I guess we could do Sword Master. Still not perfect, though. It's something. You know, that's, it's something. As long as it's something, we can keep making progress. Uh, Come on, you guys can do it. You guys can do it. Get 250, then we can be even faster. And then maybe with all of that, we could do somebody on the bottom. Who would that be, though? I mean, probably somebody who can slow things down. I think, actually, it would be a perfect spot for you, but the only problem it's not perfect, but it, it's something. Well, we'll try that out and see what ends up happening. That'll slow them down enough so that everybody else can just start whacking on them. And I think that's good. So it's a little bit of a ragtag setup this time, I think. Everybody's pretty low on levels and stuff. Let's get the can't handle this. I don't really think I need the gotcha anytime soon. So we can turn back and start focusing on you a little bit more. See if we can't just make you do a bit more damage. It's really the stuff escaping to the left, though, that's a problem. But now with uh, Lumpy Space Princess slowing it down, not as much, you know? May I help you? Okay, um... We could get right in the gloves, or we could get Slicer, which um, increases the damage from the sword attacks. Like, that might be good. And then we can get 450 for the running gloves, slow those things down a little bit more. But yeah, if Finn was on the top and Jake was on the right, I feel like that would be close enough to activate the Brofist. 
So that might be worth the while. Okay, got all that figured out. Uh, We'll do the true warrior. I guess we could do the shield bash. I don't need to have his fast attack speed anymore, so we can do that, or at least not for him specifically. We have everybody else. Oh, the camo's coming in already. That's what happened pretty fast. Maybe it'd be worth getting super intelligence, or we could once again just bite the damage. I think it's fine to bite the damage. As long as nothing else gets by too much, we'll be fine. So either Fire Crown or Battle Moon. Right now I wanna do Battle Moon. I think it's better. Because it just helps things not get out as far. And it really is working pretty well. <laughs> and those balloons are not getting out of the purple zone. And that's good to see. So we could either do Fire Crown. Uh, let's actually upgrade Jake a little bit. That's what I wanna do. So Axe Foot. We'll get Mace Hand, and then we'll get Jake of all trades. Come on, got it? Extra range would be nice. Actually, maybe Jake Slap first. Because all those different kind of attacks really go along way, so. Got it? And then we'll do Jake of all trades. So keep going with all of that. Oh, they're, they're, oh, this is the last round already. That really snuck up on me. I was not ready for that. We're down to 98 health. I don't think too much more is gonna get past us, though. Yep, that was so easy. Awesome, so we got all four of those level done on normal difficulty, it was a total breeze with this character, which is an amazing, amazing thing. And as you can see, we get ourselves some 25 coins, two gems, not really much there. Uh, one meatball, <laughs> one wish orb, and 130 experience. Maybe could we double that, that'd be fun. No, oh, yeah, this we can, so I'm gonna double that real fast. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that looks better. We got two wish orbs, we got two meatballs, that's way better, I think it was 260 experience, which is pretty huge. All right, so. Dude, admit it, it was fun. Yeah, it was all right. You got all the good stuff. No way. What about the silver coin of blindness? Finn, that coin caught a beam of light and it shone in that dude's eye. There's nothing special about it and you know it. <laughs> How about the glass dagger of ultimate destiny? I dropped that and it shattered on the floor. Oh no. Stupid training, stupid loot. And we can give some, Finn has plenty of stuff, we can give some of it to Jake. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get your chance when we come back and play on Impoppable. Oh no. Impoppable? No thank you. And because of that though, we did actually get a new ally, which is pretty cool. We got the train boss. So he's the train boss that gets to the dungeon. I thought he was a new character, just a new ally, that's fine. Um, he knocks back balloons, but he also has short range. Very interesting, I like that idea. And level or level 14, right, 715 starting cash, which is really nice. And of course we get our big bronze chest, which is super duper exciting. Adventure rewards, what could be inside? Hopefully something nice. It is 100 coins, four gems, three potions. Who are the potions for? 20 shards and one green wish orb and a power up. Nice, I like the flame power up, so that's good. All right, well I will gladly, gladly take that. And I don't know who the, the potion's for though. So let's open up our, we have two gray and one green. Okay, so nobody knew here. So I could either re-roll or I could just wait. I think I'm just gonna sell one of these guys. I don't think I need more than one. So 10 shards should be good. I think it's 10 shards for all of them. So we'll discard these two. And then for this, what do we got? Wish orb common. It's gonna be nothing new again. So I might re-roll this one real quick. Okay, so for this one we rolled again. Didn't really get anything better, so I'm just going to uh, get more shards. Sooner or later we might be able to buy a super rare legendary thing with that, so that'll be pretty cool. And then we get our green one right here. What do we get? Hopefully something good with this. Okay, we do get something new. It's an uncommon trinket, it's a mortar helmet. Increases blast radius by 5%, plus initial 5% if equipped to C4 Charlie. Might as well take it. You know, just getting new stuff is really what I'm focused on at the moment, and I don't need either of these because I already have one of them. That's really all I'm looking for at the least. All right, we'll go home. Good, good stuff. And yeah, I had so much fun with Dungeon Fin. Hopefully you did too. We unlocked that new ally for it. So I do want to check that out. I think that is for Dungeon Fin anyway. So that'll be pretty cool. Dungeon Fin, new ally. Yep, right there. And this info, armed with his energy wand, he's escaped from the dungeon train and is coming after the balloons. Pros is that he knocks back balloons. His cons is that he's just short range, like we said before. Um, one damage, 0.77 attack speed, cost is 600, range is 35. We'll equip him, because where else are we gonna put him? Okay, and what else can we give to you? Because we can swap this out for something a little bit more effective if we have the chance. Like we have that C4 Charlie hat, which obviously is best for C4 Charlie, but since we don't have him, let's increase our blast radius by 5%. I don't know if he actually has a blast radius, but he must to some extent, you know? 
So yeah, very cool. I had a lot of fun in today's episode. Hopefully you did too. Stay tuned for our two other character showcases. That new Jake character, the new Marceline character. They're going to be coming soon. We'll have a lot of fun with it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. If you watched this the video, make sure you comment Dungeon Zebra so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.